Time is a thing that we can never get back. And if you're like me, a business owner, a husband, a father, trying to do the best we can at all those, it's not something I really have a lot of extra to go around. So one thing I'm always trying to do is automate and find ways to save time. I will happily trade money for time every day of the week. And of course, one of the ways that you can save time is by automating some of the chores that you have to do, right? We all have stuff that just has to get done every day. One of those things that I feel like has been solved, this is some of that AI that is useful in your life, not just a new filter on your phone or something like that. This is, of course, a robot vacuum. And today I wanna to review and share with you my thoughts on the Ecovax DBot N10 Plus. Thanks to Ecovax for sponsoring this video. And let's get into what my experience has been after having this for over a month now. My house here is 2,400 square feet. We've got two big living rooms here. We've got our dining room and entryway, plus four different bedrooms. Now, if you are like me and you have young kids, they are constantly making messes everywhere they go. That's just kind of what they do. They're like little mess factories. And so for me, finding a way to save time at least one of these chores from vacuuming is exactly what I wanted to figure out because I know that these robot vacuums have been around for a while. And so I had to do a bunch of research before I found this one here, which is from Ecovacs. Now the big challenge in finding the right robot vacuum for your house is trying to understand and digest all of the information that's out there because this is one of those robots that's been around for a while. So there's lots of versions and prices that go from a couple hundred dollars all the way to well over a thousand dollars. So here's the math I did to figure out why this one was right for me. So the first thing that I looked at was the kind of flooring I have. And you can see here that this is this old 1960s flooring that has this deep grooves here, this tile. We haven't really got rid of that yet. We haven't convinced my wife of it. And in order to actually get the stuff out of here, you have to have enough suction. So understanding the amount of suction that you need is the first thing to consider. And luckily, my DBot N10 Plus has 3,800 Pascal pressure units, which is the little measure you see over there. We also have a puppy here that leaves his hair everywhere, don't you? Come here, come here. Do you leave your hair everywhere for us? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This is Ace, everyone. Hi, Ace. Say, hey, I'm gonna go leave some hair over here so your little robot can vacuum it up. What is that, Dad? So here it is, just kind of sitting in the corner of the dining room, you know, doing its own little thing. This is where it comes back to every time it runs. And I didn't want to have to clean it out every time. I remember I had an old one of these years ago and I'd have to clean it every single time. Well, that's annoying. This one actually is pretty cool because it has this 2.5 liter dust bin inside that collects and it lasts for up to months. So you don't really have to worry about this every time that it vacuums, it's gonna come back here and empty itself. And it kind of sounds like a jet engine, check this out. And there you have it. So, this way, it empties everything out and I don't have to deal with it, except for you know once every couple months. The first couple times I did that, it had picked up so much hair and stuff from our dog and from the rugs and everything that I had to manually empty it because it was just so clogged. So after we got through those first few times and it is able to kind of maintain a level of cleanliness around here, it works fine. But originally, it was a bit of a challenge and now, thankfully, I don't have to deal with it. So after it makes a map of your house, it creates these different zones and you can actually control where it goes, which is kind of nice because I don't always want it to go in the bedrooms and all that. You do need to pick up so you don't have like clothes laying around and all that. It does have this LiDAR sensor here and is really good about going around things, but I have had it get tangled up a couple times. So what's cool is I can just set the zone and say A is the living rooms and dining room and kitchen and leave all the rest of it alone. And one thing I was looking for here as well was one that would automatically mop, right? We don't have carpet throughout the whole house, so we do need to mop quite a bit. We have tile mostly, and then in the bedrooms, you know, carpet and things like that. So this guy has a little pad that you can install on the back of it, and you just put water in it, and it will, it will spray just the tiniest little bit and kind of scoot its butt along there to clean it up. And the cool thing, because I was wondering how that would work, right, with, uh, with carpet and rugs and tile and, and wood. Um, it figures it out because it knows when it goes on a rug that it's now on a rug. It can sense the, the, the difference in the pressure and everything like that. So it knows not to spray the water down there. So really cool and really how smart these things have got. But when it does it, it sprays just the tiniest amount of water. So that way when it scoots its little butt along and rubs this pad, it 
doesn't really leave this big thing that you have to wait for hours to go back in. Literally, it's just a couple minutes and it's totally dry. So I thought that was really neat. You know, I wasn't really sure how that was gonna work when I first started testing it, but once I once I saw it in action, I was totally impressed by it. So this is cool because not only does it help you, you know, save time on having to vacuum up, which is like a daily occurrence here with the kids, it's something that it even mops, albeit not perfectly, you still might wanna mop once a, a month or whatever, but um, it does help and it does get some of the other kind of spills and things up from the ground. I also wanted it to work with my voice assistant. Now I use Amazon's voice assistant. I won't say it so it doesn't trigger yours, uh, but it also works with Google Assistant. So if you need it to go run at an ad hoc time, not when it's normally scheduled to run, then you just ask it to do it and it will go do its thing. So that's kind of cool. That way you don't have to fuss with the app and deal with anything like that. It just works with kind of the way everything else is starting to integrate and work together in your home. And you'll notice I didn't get the most expensive one here. Of course, they sent this over for me to review, and usually that means they give me the kind of maxed out one, whatever it is, because that's what they want you to buy. But I wanted to make sure, and talking with them before I did a review on this, first off, that it worked, and second off, that it was something that was more responsible, because saving money and having more money to offset other things and give you more time in your life is a key part about living a bulletproof life. So thanks Ecovax again for sharing this with me so I can share it with you guys. If you wanna know more about how this actually works and how it's gonna work for my house and what my house looks like, you have to check out this home tour I did over here where I go through everything that I have now and how I'm gonna switch it over to be more sustainable, more self-sufficient, so I don't need to rely on anyone else to kind of protect my family and my home. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you back here next time.